Hi, today I will be showing you how to take this mounted and varnished artwork and epoxy it to give it this glossy, glass-like, beautiful shine, ready to sell or to give to your friends and family. Here are the things we're going to be using in this process. We're going to be using Art Resin brand of epoxy resin. Here's the hardener and this is the resin and it's one to one ratio. It's going to be equal parts that we're going to put together to create the epoxy resin that we're going to use on our artwork. The other things we're going to be using, painter's tape, we'll be using some toothpicks possibly at one point, and some popsicle sticks. I also have kind of a, a spreader that I got from Art Resin with a kit that I received from them. I may or may not use it. Just depends on how things are going. The rake deal that I got from Art Resin. I've used it before, but I don't use it a lot. Just using the popsicle sticks works fine, and I can just throw them away and not have to clean off the resin. But I have these set aside just in case I need them. I also have some pieces of paper towel that I may or may not use as well. They're not really for cleanup. These are for leveling my artwork as best that I can. And then I also have these Solo Cups. I've reused these over and over again. They're used for a couple of different purposes. They're used for putting the two parts together if I have to use a lot. They're also used for lifting up the artwork, leveling the artwork. So I use these a lot and I just keep on reusing them. I also have these measuring cups. These measuring cups are from Amazon. They're just the right size for the resin. And they're really easy to read and they're disposable. And I like that. I'll put them in the description box if you're interested in getting them as well. I used to use a scale for the art resin but their website clearly says to measure by volume not by weight and so i think it works much better i'm also going to be using this blowtorch that i got from art resin it's perfect size for me i don't do huge work so for now this works great even if i did do bigger pieces i think this one works fine i have two pair of gloves i usually put on two pair for this process. And then after I get all the epoxy on, right before I, I blow torch, I take off one of the pair. And here are the pieces of art that I will be resining today. I have several pieces to do, but I'm only gonna do two at a time. It's just easier to deal with. This one I mounted on the board probably over a month ago, and it looks, it looks really good. It's very flat still, still sticking really well to the board with no problems. The last one that I did, I did it a week ago and it's still attached nicely, flat, ready for epoxy resin. And now I have my artwork sitting on solo cups and I'll show you how I make sure that they're level. Okay, now I know that these are level. I used my level on my phone, which I just showed you, and I've used paper towels underneath my solo cups to level it out really well. So now I'm going to get on with combining the art resin and make this happen. So this is the art resin website. There's a calculator on there and you're going to put in the length and the width in whatever unit you want to. I'm doing inches. Each of my pieces are 12 inches by 12 inches and it's telling me that I'm going to need 0 0.04 gallons or 5 ounces for each piece. Now that is for both parts at the same time. So it's going to be two and a half ounces of each part for each piece. So I'm going to do five ounces of the hardener and five ounces of the resin. I 
I'm going to do uh, five ounces of each and since these cups only hold eight ounces I'm going to pour both of them into this cup there we go okay it's five ounces of the hardener Before I pour them together into this cup, I'm just going to make sure that I have everything that I need in order to do it. I'm going to make sure I have some sort of timer available so that I know that I am stirring it for three whole minutes, which I just used my iPad to do that. I have my torch ready, my stir sticks ready. Oh, I need to tape my pieces. <laughs> I'm glad I thought of that before I poured that together. Hold on. So how I do this is I start at the bottom. I put the tape where half of it is coming off of the end of the piece of board. And the purpose for this, and I, I said this in my last video where I was epoxy resining the tiles, is so that the resin will drip off the bottom. I won't have to tape all of the underside. It'll just drip. It'll just drip off the edge here and just kind of stay and it, it won't get on the bottom of my piece. I will do about three rows of this until I do the very edge up here. And the reason you start from the bottom is so that when it drips down it won't go between. And now I'm just going to push really firmly and make sure that it's sealed really well all the way around. Especially where the where your tape joins just make sure that that's taped down really really well now that I have everything ready I leveled the pieces again after putting the tape on them now I'm going to pour both of these parts of epoxy together into this cup and I'm just going to scrape and make sure that I get all of it. So I just want to make sure that everything stays the same ratio. All right, now I'm going to start stirring it and I'm going to stir it for three minutes. Hey Siri, set a timer for three minutes. Okay, your timer is set for three minutes. Awesome. Hey Siri, stop the timer. Okay. 
I'm stirring this for just a little bit longer than three minutes just because I feel like my hands were getting so tired that I wasn't stirring it as well or scraping it as good as I needed to. So I'm doing it a little bit more. The most important thing with this epoxy resin is that it is fully incorporated and that's why they suggest three minutes for stirring it. Uh, resin minutes are a little bit longer than normal minutes. <laughs> so as you can see there's a lot of bubbles which is not a big deal because I'll be um, using the torch to make bubbles rise to the top and pop. Okay I have about 45 minutes to work with this before it gets too sticky to work with anymore so I'm going to get situated here and start pouring it onto my pieces. Okay, I'm going to start with this piece. Okay, I don't want to do too much because I want to make sure I have plenty for both. I'm going to save that little bit in case I need it. It is self-leveling and it will move to the edges so I'm just going to coax it a little bit get it as close to the edges as I can without um, causing too much mess or, or drip off so I'm just going to move it with my stick my popsicle stick and just scooch it to the edge right before it wants to fall off just do your best or you can use the tools that uh, Art Resin sends you with their kit and that works great as well. I think I'm just, I just don't enjoy cleaning tools so I would rather use one for everything which is this one popsicle stick. I've used it to stir and now to move the resin to the edge. Okay, I'm going to leave that one for now and go over to the other piece and I'm actually going to get another stick because this one's getting so messy. Alright, I'm going to do the same thing to this one. I'm just going to scoot the material to the very edge of the piece of artwork and not try to push it off. I have 45 minutes to work with so I'm not going to panic and I'm just going to scoot it patiently to the very edges. As you see, there's all kinds of bubbles in it. I don't know if you can see. 
to show you this one that's in the sunlight. There's a lot of bubbles in there. Oh dear, that tape came off. Just going to make sure that's good and tight. All right, so now I'm going to use my, um, what is this thing, a blowtorch, <laughs> and I'm just going to run it over the piece just to cause bubbles to rise to the top. I will be able to see better whether everything is, is to the edges and filled in well, so. Just a quick pass over the piece. I'm not hovering over a place for more than a, a half a second because it will burn. All right. Okay, there are a couple of spots that I see haven't completely filled in yet, so I'm just going to coax that over. I'm going to be looking for any pieces of dust or lint or something that may have infiltrated my piece, and I'm going to pick it out with uh, one of the toothpicks and then I'm going to run over them with a torch again. Right now I'm making sure that everything is covered to the very edges. So I am seeing a couple of spots where I missed. And you can just lift out these bigger bubbles and pieces of lint and things right out with your toothpick. Okay, now I'm going to use my torch one more time over this piece and then I'll look at it again after I'm done with the other one. that a little bit too long. One thing you do have to be careful of, and I just did it, so I just want to make sure that you don't, is if you see bubbles that aren't popping right away, there's a temptation to stay there for a little longer than you should, and then you start seeing smoke, and then pull away as quick as possible. And I did that here. All right, I'm gonna leave that for a minute and then come back to the other piece. First thing I'm gonna do is just look for any pieces of lint, anything that I may have missed. I'm gonna hit it with the torch one more time. All 
right I'm gonna give it about I don't know five ten minutes and look at them one more time and make sure that everything looks good before I cover them okay I'm gonna give it one more pass with my torch are one or two bubbles I've seen that is not coming up so there we go okay I think it's good I don't see any more bubbles I've passed over it a couple of times with the torch so now I'm going to cover them with um, storage containers but first I need to get a couple of things that will lift up the storage container because mine is a little bit shallow. Okay, I've gotten um, a couple of tiles that I've messed up on or don't like. So it's been over 24 hours. I already took the paint off and removed all of the stuff that was covering my table. And here's the end result. I'm really happy with it. This one turned out really good. The edges look good and I'm really pleased with it. This one had did have an issue in the very corner. I think the tape may have come up there. So. I'll probably just paint this this edge here, but I'm um, really happy with it. Really hope this video has been helpful. If you epoxy your artwork already, leave a comment to let me know how you do it and what brand you use. If you have never used epoxy before, I hope this video has been an encouragement and will help you want to give it a try. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button for this video. Thank you for watching.